Welcome back. So I got a question for you guys. Are any of you guys dealing with model or streaks? So in this video, I'm gonna help you on how to avoid that for different conditions. If you're outside or you're at your house doing something or even in the spray booth. So stay tuned for this one, guys. So this here is a dark blue, almost like a grayish blue. And these are some of the worst in the water base for modeling. So we're gonna shoot this job here today and I'm gonna go over some tricks that I do to eliminate that. And I'll talk about some stuff you guys may be able to help at home when you're doing some of these jobs to avoid some of those problems. So stay tuned guys and let's get into this video. All right, so here it is all sealed up. I went ahead and sealed it. That way we're not gonna get involved with uh, that process of the job because you're not gonna model a sealer. You can dry spray it, and that's kind of like a solvent would be if you have the wrong reducer in it. So, so the next thing that could also get you model is the wrong gun or too much air pressure with a solvent and even the water base. So I'm gonna shoot this one here, and I'm gonna show you some tips that I do with the water base. That way I can eliminate the streaks or the modeling and uh, get a nice job that looks really uniform so this is stuff that i do that may help you guys with the water base but when you're doing it with the solvent it's almost about the same way it's just a solvent versus water so you guys have a little bit more control with the solvent product because you guys can change the reducers but with this water we have one and then they have one other one for high humidity areas like arizona and stuff like that but i stick to the one uh, reducer that I have. I haven't really seen too much of a difference with the other re uh, reducer for the water base. So let's get into basing this out and I'm going to show you some tips that I do. That way I know that I don't get any modeling and if I do how I can eliminate it. All right I got my gun paints mixed and I'm going to put a coat on and then I'm going to talk to you guys some more. So I'm using the one two and I'm going to show you how I like to put my paint on when I have a car that may have chance of model or streaks. And this is with the Ultra 9K water base. So stay tuned as I put a coat on and then I'll talk to you guys some more about some other things. So you guys see what I mean? And that's the water base. See how it looks mottled? And that'll go away when it dries, but these are the colors that'll have the most problem with modeling, are these darker colors and the grays like this. So to me, silvers aren't so bad. And uh, this is these colors here are the ones that you gotta worry about having the model in. So when I put them on, I put them on lighter. I don't back to back them. I put one, I let it dry, and then I put another and I let it dry. And uh, so one thing I wanna let you guys know also to the you guys at home spraying is when you're getting a job that's modeling, you wanna make sure you have a good gun. That's one of the times where the gun will definitely help you get your way out of a modely job a lot easier because they atomize better. So you wanna have a, either a one two to a one four and I know a lot of the guys at home, when they sell you these guns, you guys don't know about that, but they're selling to like one eights and they're selling you those guns because you guys don't realize that it makes a big difference in how that, how that gun sprays. So I know that personally, because when I got into this uh, business 20 years ago or more, I was spraying the cars with a one eight. So it'll definitely work but you wanna have the right heads, the right needles and all that stuff to get you guys out of trouble. So look from the recommendations on the paint of what you're buying 
on what they prefer you use and that'll definitely help you get out of a modely job at the house to any of you do it yourself or guys so the more gun time you have the easier it's going to get on getting out of that stuff all right so now i'm going to apply coat two and i'm going to put a very light coat on I'm not going to wet it up really because when you wet it up that's what causes the model guys so you've seen the first coat I put on heavy enough to where you can see the model and now the second coat you won't see any model in it because I don't put it on wet enough to model and that's key with this water base when you're getting rid of model and that's the way I do it. You know, you guys might have a better way that works for you, but this is the way it works for me. So I figured I'd show you guys. So the first coat I put on wet, enough to where you can see the model. And then the second coat is gonna be to where you don't see the model. You guys see where I stopped that blend right on that line never stop a blend in the middle of a panel without a line or somewhere to lose it guys it'll definitely bite you so that one there is gonna dry and I think we're gonna put one more on just so we know we're good and then we'll clear it so this technique works on solvent also but make sure you guys use the right reducers with the solvent for your condition you're in and where you're spraying what temperature and uh, make sure you have a good gun because when you got some of these colors that'll fight you you definitely want all the help you can get and that's when a good gun definitely comes into play so Don't get too close when you're when you're doing the hoods because sometimes you'll streak it it does it more with solvent than it does with the water base but you can also streak the base by putting the clear on too wet so we're gonna go ahead and put coat two on and see it all finished up so if you guys got something out of this go ahead and give it a thumbs up and we're gonna be doing a solvent hood with a matte metallic matte finish and I'm going to show you how to get out of a solvent job with blotch or streaks in that one too. So I'm going to clear this one and I'll show it to you all said and done. You guys tell me what you think.
tell me what you think guys i think we got away with no model so remember one medium coat and then three drops and that's how i do it so thanks for watching and uh see you on the next one